Safety is our number one concern here at Alpine. For us, there's nothing that's uh, left out there with safety. We are doing everything 100% by the book. We have a full-time environmental safety and quality manager that goes out and does job site audits. We have supervisors out in the field doing daily toolbox meetings, and we require every single one of our employees to uh, report near misses, report uh, potential problems that we could fix before they occur so that we don't have accidents or incidents on our job and have a situation where we have employees going home hurt because that's the last thing that we want. We're a very safety conscious company. We are constantly training our employees to make sure that they are not hurt on the job. We always supply safety boots, uniforms, hard hats, everything that is required for them to work in a safe environment. In the shop we use safety glasses, we use face shields, we use earplugs, we use safety equipment for sandblasting, helmets, gloves. Well, with regards to safety in the field, Alpine personnel are all trained to basically inspect all rigging equipment and all uh, personal protective equipment prior to its use every day and at the end of the day. So our guys inspect their harnesses, we inspect the rigging lines, safety lines, uh, cable motors, you name it. We ensure the best safety on our jobs by ongoing training for safety. I've been a part of respirator training, forklift training, and all hazmat trainings and stuff like that. So here is very specific and very detailed. The type of training we provide is very vast. We have a full safety program. We do do OSHA 10 hour training. We have an in-house trainer who is OSHA 500 certified. So we do the full on OSHA 10 hour training for all of our field employees who come through. We have recently made so many changes to the company to really increase that safety. We wanna be better than the other companies. We don't wanna just go to what the standards are. We wanna break them. We wanna be better than all of the standards.